Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create a domain users in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. After you have installed and deployed your domain controller, you can start to populate ADDS with objects including users and computers. You can use several graphical tools accessible from Server Manager to perform these administrative tasks or you can use a Windows PowerShell to help automate this task. For every user in your organization, you must create a user account in ADDS. This identifies them as an individual when they attempt to perform tasks or access resources. You can create this user account with properties also known as attributes that describe the user. This could include their full name, contact details, their role in your organization, the department and many settings that define the scope of their abilities within your network. It's important that before you start this process, you spend a little time thinking about a naming standard for your user accounts. The user account name must identify the user clearly and must be unique within your organization. Typically, Organizations use a combination of user's last name and initial name to yield a unique name. If your organization is large, this might require careful consideration because many users might share a last name and some might share both first name and last name. You can also create a user account using user's first name and last name. There are several tools that you can use to create and manage user accounts, including Windows PowerShell, the dsadd.exe command line tool, Active Directory users and computers, and the Active Directory Administrative Center. For the purposes of procedure in this video, we will use Active Directory users and computers and the Active Directory Administrative Center. Sign in as a member of the Domain Admins Global Security Group. In fact, you can sign in as a member of the Account Operators Group. Members of this group have sufficient privilege to perform account management tasks. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Active Directory Users and Computers. Select the OU in which you want to create your user account. For example, India Marketing OU. For this demo, already I have created India Marketing OU. If you want to create new OU, then select your domain name and click here and specify the name of your OU to create new organizational unit. Let me cancel it. Let's right click on India Marketing OU, point to new and select user. In the new object user dialog box, enter the required information first name, initials and last name. This should uniquely identify the user. These elements combine to create the user's full name which must be unique within the ADDS container where you create it. However, it is advisable to try to ensure that the name is unique within the forest. Next, we need to specify user's logon name. User logon name is the combination of the prefix which you specify for the user account and the suffix of your domain. For example, robert.p at msftwebcast.com. This UPN must be unique within the ADDS forest. The UPN suffix is generally the domain name where you are adding the account. In our case, it is at msftwebcast.com. However, you can define additional UPN suffixes by using the Active Directory domains and Trust Console. User logon name pre-Windows 2000 is also sometimes referred to as the SAM account name. It must be unique within the current domain. In our case, it is msaptiwebcast slash robert p. Once you specify user names and logon details, 
click next to continue next enter a password and confirm the password whatever you enter must meet the current password complexity rules in your domain you can configure remaining settings as per requirement the first password setting is user must change password at next logon it is good practice to force a user to choose a new password when they first sign in select user cannot change password option if the user account is a specialist account such as one used by an app or service rather than a person this option is mutually exclusive with user must change password at next logon you cannot select first two options at the same time let me try to select the check box you will receive an error that you cannot check both user must change password at next logon and user cannot change password for the same user click okay choose password never expires likewise option if the user account is specialist account such as when used by an app or service again this option is also mutually exclusive with user must change password at next logon let's try to select it again we will receive the same error let me clear this check box and select the first one it is good practice to disable all user accounts until the user is ready to sign in for the first time many organizations add user accounts and create email accounts for new start employees before the new employees first day however leaving a user account enabled and unused with its initial password is not secure as per requirements you can enable or disable the user account using the account disabled option here i am selecting account will remain disabled configure these settings as required and click next when prompted click finish to create new active directory user account the domain user account has been created successfully after you have created the account you must modify its properties so that you can configure group memberships organizational details and more advanced account properties that we will see in the next video now let's use active directory administrative center to create an another user account go back to server manager click on tools and click on active directory administrative center in the active directory administrative center double click on our domain name now double click on our ou name india marketing you can see the user account which we have created earlier using active directory users and computers in the task pane on the right click new under ou and select user from the menu let me maximize it in the create user dialog box all required fields are marked by an asterisk start filling out the first name and last name fields and the full name field will be automatically populated all new users must have a sam account name which is the user's ad logon name but i recommend filling out the user's upn logon field and sam account name will be filled in automatically enter and confirm a password for this user account under password options we can confirm that user must change password at next logon is selected again these options are same as we have seen in active directory users and computers if you want you can also modify other information like organizations and other details this is up to you that what kind of information you want to provide while creating the new user account the user will be required to change the password the first time they log on and don't forget that the password you set must meet the password complexity requirements set in the domain policy note that domain users don't have the necessary rights to log in locally on domain controllers so test new user logins from a domain joint pc let's go to our domain joint windows 10 computer This Windows 10 computer 
is joined to our Active Directory domain MSFTI webcast. The link to the video on how to join computer to Active Directory domain is given in the description area. Press Ctrl to delete key combination to unlock the machine. Click on other user. Type the username sam.c at msftwebcast.com. This is the user's UPN name. Enter the user's password and hit enter key. Since we have selected user must change password at next logon option, user will be asked to change his or her password. Click on OK to change the user password. Type new password, confirm it and hit enter. This will update the user account password. Your password has been changed. Click on OK to sign in. This user account is first time logged into this domain joined computer. System will create a new user profile for this user account. This will take few moments to create a new user profile for our user account SamCook. Once it is done, we will reach on Windows 10 desktop. At this point, we have successfully logged into this domain joined Windows 10 computer using the new domain user account. Let's click on Start menu. We can see the username is Sam Cook. That's all for this video on how to create an Active Directory user account using GUI options. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.